making a Valkyrie deck profile. And I know most people tell me that deck is bad. But I think the best version is the Pendulum Edition version, but I don't have the Pendulum Edition cards. So I did the best with what I had. And that would be, and with, starting with the monsters, I play three Valkyrie Dritta. Which is, whenever it's normal or special on, you add a Valkyrie card from your deck to your hand. The main thing that makes me sad is that I can no longer search for Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendant since it's no longer treated as a Valkyrie card. Then I play three Honest, the main battle protection you have in this deck. And then I play two copies of Hecatrice. I probably should have changed this in Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, back to three. Then I play the main or bug of the deck, so to speak, Valkyrie's Vita. And with its ability, whenever it's summoned once per turn, you can target one card, one of your monster's cards and destroy it. And if it battled, if you, you, I can, you can target one continuous spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. The main thing you'd use that for in this deck's archetype would be for the goddess cards. Which I, I really want to play, but every time I need to make more room, they're always the first thing to come out. Then I play three Fortune Chariot. This card isn't that great, but it is useful for the deck's Pot of Greed. I say the deck's Pot of Greed, but it's not really art, uh, Valkyrie exclusive. Then I play three Valkyrie Ersta. Which is the main banisher of the, this deck. If you control a Valkyrie other than itself, you can banish one of your opponent's mon one monster from your opponent's graveyard. To then make Valkyrie Earth does attack points match it, that monster's attack points. Not ability. It matches the attack. I can't speak for now for some reason. Then the main boss monster of the deck. I play 3 Valkyrie Brunhilda. It gains 300 attack points. Or, 300. It gains 500 attack points for every monster your opponent controls. And then once per turn, an attack is declared. You can have Valkyrie Brunhilda lose 1,000 defense points permanently to then make it so none of your Valkyries can be destroyed by battle for that entire turn. So, in a way, Valkyrie Brunhilda is much better than its anime equivalent. Then, for the most annoying card this deck has, and it's part of a four card combo I'll show you later Archlord Christia. The main effect you use in this, what this card with in this deck, is if you have. Neither player can special summon monsters. I have beaten so many people with Archlord Christia with the other three cards for the combo. But that is it for the monsters. Then for the spells, I use two copies of Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Then I play two Celestial Observatory. This is the Pot of Greed deck because you put a little six monster from your hand or face up on your field to the bottom of your deck to then draw two cards. And then the most unfair card Valkyries have that makes them one of my favorite favorite decks to play two copies of mischief of the time goddess at the end of your battle phase activate it your opponent can't respond to it you get a second battle phase and a sec and then you can go back to main phase two afterward then i play for the finish off the spells i play three ride of the valkyries this card's dumb once you can special summon any number of Valkyrie monsters from your hand with different names, but then in the same turn you can banish it to add mischief to the time goddess from your or you banish it from your graveyard to add mischief to the time goddess from your deck to your hand. The reason you would do that is because at the end of the turn you activate Rise of the Valkyries, all monsters on your field return to your deck. But due to mischief of the time goddess's ability. You just completely skip to the next turn. So you never reach the end phase of that turn. 
And then for the traps, I play three goes in match, which with this deck, you lock your opponent into light bond. Or you lock yourself into light by getting your opponent's locked into one attribute. Three rivalry, which locks your opponent into one type while you're locked into fairies. And then to finish off the traps, which I'm thinking about taking out to add in Monster Reborn, another Valhalla, another Hecatrice. Three, Psalm Strike. And then the four card combo with this deck that, as far as I can tell, makes most decks rage quit. Involves Gozen Match. Valhalla Hall of the Fallen and Rivalry as well as Archler Christia. The idea is you set the two Rivalry and Gozen, you activate Valhalla, and then you special summon Archler Christia from your hand. And then during your opponent, when you, as soon as your opponent summons a monster, you activate Gozen and Rivalry. Now they're stuck with one type of monster with a single attribute and can't special summon. And then other cards you could use to try to strengthen this combo would be cards like Imperial Custom, which makes so that continuous traps can't be destroyed. And then maybe even R Judgment of Anubis. Where you're, so your opponent tries to Mystical Space Typhoon or Twin Twister your trap cards. Then you discard a card, negate it, and destroy one of their monsters and deal them damage. And they can't summon anything else because they've already used their normal summon. But that is it for the Valkyrie deck profile. If you have any ideas of how I can make this better, please leave comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.